team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the NC State Wolfpack and the Creighton Blue Jays. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Blue Jays are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. High post flasher is open. Got a nice screen. Rejects it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. On the outside. Look at that spacing. Looks at the three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They go into the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to feed the low block. He intercepts it. Up and inside! The small forward takes the feed. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. The point guard takes the pass for two. Perfectly executed. The frustration right there. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. There's a high screen. Here they go into the break and the jam. He's a high riser, sensational baby. Tight D here on the top of the key. Goes. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Huh? Yeah, that helps. The power forward with the ball. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. you got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Feeding the post. Goes up for two. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Down inside. He's got an open look for the shot. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. ball goes out of play standing ovation you've got to love this reaction by the crowd what emotion what passion the crowd appreciates their effort trying to go inside and they do they got it on the low block a high screen stolen away they get it out into transition good athletic move very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Now trying to feed the low block. 
Great anticipation defensively. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nixon, pump fakes. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. The point guard gets the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buried that one from way deep. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He attempts the trifecta. Buried it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> NC State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. There's a double team waiting there. He fires away. Way off target. The power forward gets the pass. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. That's a 7-0 run. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dump it inside. He blocks the shot. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Here's a double team for the bucket. Perfectly executed. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. What should they do here, Dick? Let's call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. NC State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He pump fakes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Now 
Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. Nice shot. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Braden dig down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. All right, thanks, Aaron. With a deep shot from outside. Gets it to go. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Look at that spacing. He takes the shot from the baseline. Sinks the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Lobs it inside. Picked off. He's got a nice shot fake. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got the high pick. There he is, strips the ball loose. Working around the perimeter. The Blue Jays have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. On the outside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how... Got it! He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. They will line him up. Gets it. He does the sweet fake shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Good fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds.
10 seconds to put up a shot. And the ball goes out of play. Four seconds to shoot. He puts up the tray. He makes the shot. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Executes the baby hook. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Woodson, they spent right now emotionally, Dick. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, it's bringing him down. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's the trap. He lets it go. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Turns it over. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Steals a pass. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For the bucket, in and out. collision there but no foul called there. I think good call by the official not blowing a whistle I think it's an excellent call. And a momentary look from three point land for two drops the bucket despite the harm. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Fakes it. Klingman's inferior play is really affecting his composure now. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fake. Jumped in front to take it away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. They work the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dump it inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Very 
soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Got it. Takes a jumper, and he'll kick it back outside. Takes away the pass. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. On the dribble, gives it up. They'll work it around the arc. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. It's good. Both free-throws go. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Defense! 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 Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. The turn of fadeaway jumper. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. To beat the shot clock. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post-play because that gives you inside-outside action. At the end of the first half, the Blue Jays are behind by 19. Creighton coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. We've had a good one so far, Dick. What play stands out for you in the first half? Hey, Brad, if I'm coach, I'd love to go in at half after a shot like this. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. it in. Picks off the pass. Woodson receives the pass. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Moving it around the perimeter. Up fake. And they get the turnover. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. 
Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing now, my friend. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And he scores despite the hack. team now bad angle there's the offensive rebound on the inside they work it back to the outside launches away he puts in another score he can see the light Brad and it's hanging right over the goal hard foul and there's a look at the backcourt comparison there. I bet, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Picked off. Momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. Gave it up. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. the feed he lets it go great shot <laughs> on the dribble gives it up looking for a screen on top and got it there's a double team waiting there picked out of the air the pass is ripped away he broke down just in time up it inside for the deuce he makes the shot. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under and off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here they go into transition. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. The ball goes out of play. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. 
comes away with it. And again, they look to run. For two, finger roll. Looking for a good shot. Yep, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The fake. He shoots from right of the circle. Creighton have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Wood receives the ball. He shoots from the elbow. Rims out. With the fake. Nice fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. We strip them in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Up and inside. In the paint. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. For two. Easy one. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go court side. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from downtown. Got it. The Blue Jays are trailing by 26. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Right, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Leans in. It sticks. Only the replay can do this justice. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. High post screen. So effective that screen. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside. From the baseline. That was nice. 
The Wolfpack lead by 26. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. 10 on the shot clock. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Good move using the pro hop to draw the foul. Hey, the defense is a little slow reacting there. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Misses the second. He grabs the board. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Woodson's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a double team. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Looking for a good shot. Shoots it. Sinks the shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There's the trap. Oh, what a strip, Red. Fast break possibility coming. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nesla. How much fun would that be? Intercepted. And he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard handles the pass. NC State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Entry pass in the paint. Controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. For the deuce. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. You want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Yeah, 
they come with a double team to stop it. Defense giving some room. Stolen. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. That's a nine-nothing run. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. The Blue Jays trail by 25. Turnaround jumper and in and out. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They're working around the perimeter. He takes it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. The shot from the baseline. He hits the shot. Gave it up. Now the high screen. He drains the shot. They work it around the perimeter. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground. Blocks the shot. High post screen. With a bucket. And he missed. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Start the bus, baby. This one is over. The winning team can't relax. They're over there feeling good. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Got an open look if he wants it. Ten on the shot clock. He drains it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And off the mark. Tickles a twine. The Blue Jays have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the dribble, gives it up. With authority. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, he'll often end up with a personal foul. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. No doubt.
He misses the second shot. Pushes it. Picks off the lazy pass. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Stolen ball. Gave it up. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Good shot. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Shot clock is dead. pass in the paint. He strips him clean. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. High post screen. Going to use it. Kicks it out. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Wolfpack opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps...